thank you very much for your interest in this e-course. I believe it's going to be of great use to you. Thank you very much once again. This is a very short e-course. I will be, you'll be receiving lots of great principles in this particular short e-course. Now, I'm Sheson Gwotade. I am an author. I love to use the Word of God to solve practical problems of the people and the society. Sometimes ago, I, I wrote an interesting book titled How to Fly with Your Faith. How to Fly with Your Faith. It has blessed lots of lives on the internet and then I've read lots of emails from people who have been satisfied with the content of this particular book. Now, I believe this course is going to be of great use to you. Now, what, do you need a flying faith? Do you need a flying faith? Why do you need a flying faith? Let me inform you that you need a flying faith. You will not be able to please God. You will not be able to achieve any Christian success without your flying faith in place. Now, I I want you to listen to my story so many years ago, about over 14 years ago, when I newly became a born-again Christian. I just became a born-again Christian and I settled down to study the Bible. And I got to the book of John chapter 15, verse 5b, where Jesus talking said, Without me, you can do nothing. I was surprised as a young Christian that someone could be so bold to tell me that I cannot succeed without him. I was so bold about it. It was a public statement. And I said within my heart, how can you say that? How can you tell me I can't succeed without you? Now, I believe the, the Spirit of God loved this reaction from me. And... He responded by telling me that that is the truth. You can't succeed without him. And I said, well, if that is the truth, I need to find out myself. I need to find out whether the statement will be relevant to me. But don't mind my questions and my stubbornness. I was just a young Christian then. Now, let me inform you that God Almighty has used everything to make me understand that that statement is relevant to me and it is relevant to anyone on this earth. Now, if he says you can't succeed without him, then it means, and the Bible says, we can only please God with our faith, then it means you need to be a faith worker to succeed with him. Not just being a faith worker, you need a, to become a flying faith worker. For you to succeed in him now i know you be telling me what do i mean by being a flying faith worker and tell me your faith is just you know yes your faith is enough and i'm still talking about the same faith that the bible talks about but i'm trying to qualify with an adjective that an adjective that will make you understand the relevance of what this course is all about. Flying fetters are different from trekking fetters. They are different from walking fetters. They are also different from running fetters. I want you to listen to this story illustration and which will tell you more about why you need to become a flying fetter on this earth to achieve great Christian exploits. Now, three friends, let me call their name, Collins, John and Tom set out to go on a journey to Ethiopia in Africa from the United States of America. Now, Collins took a decision to undertake his journey by trekking to Ethiopia. John planned to undertake his own journey by running to Ethiopia, while Tom planned to fly to Ethiopia from America. Now, you will agree with me that it's so easy and so clear for you to understand that Tom will get to Ethiopia before the other two friends of his. The same way, a flying faith will always help you to get great godly sources or results on this earth than a trekking faith or a running faith 
or a walking fit. <laughs> Our world today needs flying fitters. Jesus said so many years ago that at the end time, the love of many will grow cold. Even in the church, we need flying fitters. We need flying fitters. The devilish temptations are many. Only flying fitters will endure to the end and overcome all the temptations and fulfill their God-given purpose. Mm. Now, uh, this brings me to the end of the first lesson. And um, in the second lesson, I will be telling you my humble experience with this topic of faith. It's an interesting story. The story about myself and my wife. We got married four years. We were without a child of our own. <laughs> it's an interesting story. So I will see you at the second lesson. Thank you very much.